Welcome to some more Timberborn. We got a lot to do today. So I think the first thing is I want to work on figuring out the export import situation. So I have scrap metal up here and I have a way to turn it into metal blocks up here because we have all this power down here. We've got this huge pile of scrap metal that I'm trying to get rid of so that we can do something with water up here. And my storage is getting pretty full. So what I want is for them to export all of the scrap metal from here up to here because we have this huge underground pile that has space for 1800 scrap metal. And then these are all pretty much full. So I'm hoping to get rid of all the scrap metal that's here so we have more space to get rid of all of this so we can use this. But this district crossing is new. It's different than it used to be. Um, and so I'm still kind of working on how to use it. So here we've got scrap metal and import is enabled from or into clink clack if needed. But what I think I need to do is always import so that even if we don't need it for something, we can keep pulling it in. So I'm going to click on that. And then the other thing I noticed was this little bar here, export threshold. So in Woodstock, I think I want to put this up to 100% because I want to export all of the scrap metal. So I'm going to see how that works and if it actually does what I think it's going to do or not. And we'll see what happens. Um, we'll come back to this in a little bit and see if that helped at all. Let me look here really quick. No good selected. Oh, good. They finished building this underground pile. So I'm going to put this as logs so that when these trees get chopped down, they can go right into there. I do need to plant some more trees over here. So I'm going to do that right now. What's this one? Plant trees. We're doing maple. Just fill this in probably there. Once that's all done, then I'll add more. And then let's see here. Um, another thing that I noticed is that this farmer is only pretty much getting carrots up here. So we have four carrots a few grilled chestnuts and some grilled spatter dock, but hardly any food over here. And this efficient farmhouse, this is a new design. You can actually fit three beavers in here. So I really would like to, I'm gonna up that. Oh, but we don't have enough beavers to work in it. But I think that if I can get the beavers in there, they can actually get like all these sunflowers that are just sitting here, aren't getting harvested and all these potatoes. And once we can start getting that, we'll get more food but I do need to free up some space. Let's see here. Well, we don't really have much spatter dock to harvest, so I think I'm gonna take somebody out of this. Maybe they'll go into this. Nope. Okay. I wonder where they went. I don't know. Let's take somebody out of the hauling post. Eventually, once we get more beavers, then we'll put more in there, but for now. Okay, we've got two in here. Is there anywhere else that we can take somebody out? This is paused. We're getting those logs. I don't really know if there's anywhere to take another beaver out. Oh, I guess I could take pause one of these for now because we don't have any of this wood set up. So the other one will be ready for when these trees start to grow. And then maybe I can put another beaver in there later. I think I need more housing to fix that. And then I need um, more storage for food too. So that's another thing that I realized. This is grilled spatter dock. We've got carrots down here, but I'm growing potatoes and I don't have a place to store grilled potatoes once they're cooked, which I need to turn this. We don't have any spatter dock coming in. So we're making grilled spatter dock, but there's not any spatter dock to grill. So I'm gonna switch this to grilled potatoes. And then hopefully if the beavers can start getting these potatoes in, they'll turn it into grilled potatoes. I should probably put another grill over here really quick. Do that. And then I need to do storage for the food. So I want to make one for grilled potatoes. And I think I want to do one for sunflower seeds because I don't think I have any storage for sunflower seeds around here. So we need spots to actually gather those resources. Building lacks materials. Logs. Wait, what? Unable to get all required materials. Oh, because we're not collecting any potatoes. I'm going to actually change this and prioritize potatoes for now, just because we have all these potatoes sitting here that they could be gathering. Once they get those, then they'll work on the rest of it. Okay, let's put down a couple more of these medium warehouses. Medium warehouse. Okay, rotate. I'm going to do two. 
Um, the bottom one is going to be for grilled potatoes. The top one's going to be for sunflower seeds. And then I need to put another one of these here so that they can get over to the top one. Is that in here? Yeah, platform. And then we got to build a path right here. So they'll work on that. And then I think I might do two more of these small houses here for them as well, just to have more housing. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to do it this one so that I can do less of the platforms, build less of those. And then path up here. Okay, so that stuff, the builders have a lot to do right now. How many builders do we have? We have two builders. So they've got a lot to be building, um, but eventually it'll help out. They're getting all these potatoes so that they can actually start turning the potatoes into grilled potatoes. How do you still not have any? Oh, okay. Are they grabbing them? Okay, we are turning the potatoes into grilled potatoes. It's just a slow process. I'm going to switch. I'm going to do grilled spatter dock in here so that once we start gathering the spatter dock. Oh, they are gathering a little bit. So then the, this beaver can turn it into grilled spatter dock, although we don't have anybody that can work in there. Once we get these two houses built, though, we should be able to do that. Oh, my gosh. We've got hungry beavers here. How much food? Uh, you guys should be able to eat. OK, good. Building lacks workers. Yeah. Building needs water. OK. Oh, this is Completely drained out. Okay, I need to let some of this out. Oh. Got two days left of the drought. I don't want to let too much water out in case we need it. Okay, I think that stopped it from coming out. Oh, it's still coming out. Um, okay, that's probably enough. I just want it to fill this up enough to uh, be able to pump water here because I don't know if we have any water down here. Oh, no, we do, but it's because of this up here. Okay, so we did food storage for the potatoes and the sunflower seeds. We built another grill. Um, I do also want to get more water storage. Um, and I was talking about just doing another path here, which I think I'm just going to do it. We can't fit as much water in these little tanks as the big ones, but I can't put a big one here because the door's on the wrong side. So I'm just going to do the little one. Or little ones, I guess. We'll do two of those. Then they can store more water up here. Beavers injured. These beavers up here get injured a lot more than everybody else does. Maybe because they're in this industrial zone. And then we were uh, building this, but it looks like they can't get to it. So I need to build a path up here so the beavers can actually get all the way. I'm just going to do this. All the way to that. What are you guys doing? Are you just like... Your unemployed beavers. Man, we've got 18 unemployed beavers over here. Is this just in this district? Okay, seven in this district. I wish I had more beavers over here. Oh no, because I let the water out. All these are dying. Well, thankfully, I think that these grow pretty quickly. So I might have to switch this to the sunflowers uh, just so that we get as much of this as we can before it goes. We've got two days to get it, so... As long, well, actually, the water is going to rise. I guess it doesn't really matter. It'll be fine. Let's see how these are doing. Do we have more scrap in here? No. Well, that doesn't really seem to have worked. Um, switching it to. So I'm going to just put that back down and we'll see what happens. Export threshold 0%. I don't, I guess I don't know. Oh. If you have it all the way that way, you're not exporting it. If you have it all the way down, there's no restrictions. OK, so that's why they stopped exporting. Um, but hopefully this having it import always will help them move it over. OK, well, I'm glad I figured that out before I let them sit there like that for too long. OK, so I think that this beaver planted all this, although now it's getting dry. So some of this is going to die if it doesn't get wet again soon. But I'm going to just keep planting over here. Let's um. Plant some more maples. We're going to go just like this. I'm just going to fill this whole thing in, I think. OK, that way they can get everything done. These are 65 percent of the way done, 39. It's not going to be a complete cycle because some of these, I mean, these are what, 0 percent or 9 percent. But hopefully it'll be enough where we can get wood most of the time since there's so many trees hopefully will completely 
be planting and then chopping down trees over and over again once this starts. Okay. Oh, we've got three beavers in here now. So we should be getting more of this food quickly. How are we doing here? Still not doing super great on food, but that's okay. Okay. And then they're working on this. So I want to blow up this line of dirt here so that eventually we can get water. My plan is to somehow get the water coming through here and then we'll bring it through this way and into this lake. See if it actually works because I'm not sure if it will, but um, that's why I'm getting rid of this scrap metal so we can build a path here for the water to go. Um, one of the things I really do need to do soon is get rid of these trees and start working on the dam that I'm going to build to get the water to move that way. So let's do that really quick right now. Lumberjack. So I want to put this here and then I want to have them cut the trees that are all in here. I want to get rid of all this so that I can put down the dam pieces that I need. This is a, like a temporary thing. But for now, it'll work. No good selected. Let's see. Um, small tank. We're going to do water. And then this one is also going to need to be water. Well, the drought is almost done. So this should start filling back up soon. And these beavers are getting some water. So what's going on with these? Are they not, not taking care of it? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to start building a path here. And hope that that will help them get rid of these faster. I did delete these, right? That's what that means. Demolish. Okay, I think that's what that means. So hopefully they'll start getting rid of those bushes soon. Down here, it seems that the beavers are doing a pretty good job of gathering all of the food. So we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Um, it's just up here that they were having trouble. But now that we have three beavers in here, I'm hoping it'll be a little bit better. I don't know if I have anybody working in here. No, I don't. I wonder if I could, maybe I'll pause this for a moment so that that beaver moves over to here. Once they're done chopping this all down, then I'll pause it again to move them back to the forestry. But um, I really would like to get these chopped down so that I can start building that dam that I was talking about. And we are starting to get water now. So let's see how the, the water's rising at all. Oh, maybe a little bit, not fully yet, but pretty soon it should be. Um, and then over here, what I would like to do, so we have the carousel now and we're doing a pretty good job of getting power now that we have all three of these going. Um, our supply right now, because it's not super windy, is 832 and we need a thousand to run everything efficiently. So we are using the power that's been stored in these batteries. I would like to get more windmills going around here. One of the things we're going to need to build the windmills is more paper. We use the paper for the explosives and then the these big windmills need the paper too. Um, 30 paper per windmill. So I'm going to put these down. Let's see. I might pause them. And then I think I'm going to need another paper mill and I don't know. I was trying to figure out where I could put it that doesn't affect because right now everything's mo most of it's on this side and then we have this here and it's on this side of the path. So I can't cross over without like going up and over the path or coming all the way down here, which is just a waste. So I was thinking maybe I could put the paper mill like here. Um, let's see. Yeah, it'll fit there if I put down a platform, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to put down this platform here. We should be able to build that. And once that's done, I wonder if it'll let me put down this here. OK, so that is what I'm planning and I need a way to get the power to it. I think I can put this high power shaft here and it'll take the power from in here and put it down into this building. And hopefully they can get there just right here. But oh, we're out of power. Oh, man. And these are all empty. Darn it. And then I just need a way to get up into the building. So I'm going to need a stair right here. 
and then a path probably just do that so then they'll be able to get in there make more paper and then we can use that paper to make more windmills so we have more power it's going to take a little bit though what do we need to get that we need gears planks and logs and we have gears we've got planks oh and we do have logs perfect so we're doing good on that how are we doing here they're not really moving much these are still really full do not export any goods so that they're importing i mean not really getting it moved over a whole lot i don't know guess we'll see how's the water level okay it's coming back in so everything should be doing good i'm gonna switch this back over to the potatoes so that we can finish get gathering all of these this beaver has gotten a lot of the trees chopped down oh there's two here that i need to do too not plant cut trees right here so we'll let them do that and then we are going to start building the uh dam pieces and this is all done it looks like so maybe once the day comes we'll explode these pieces of dynamite and see how that path looks and we have everything here that we need so it's just a matter of the beavers moving stuff do we have builders we do we've got a couple builders now that it's daytime let's go ahead and detonate these Are you guys ready oh man look at that nice path there that we can use to move water along here and get it into this once we get rid of the rest of the scrap metal and i might actually put another piece of dynamite down and make this a little bit deeper but we'll see um in order to do that i'd have to put stairs down um let's go ahead and i'm gonna put a stair down here i'm gonna put a path here once they do that then i'm gonna start putting down some more dynamite um, here is easier because it's right next to where we've got the dynamite stored. Eventually, I need to get dynamite over here. It's going to take a little bit longer to do that. Let's go ahead and put down some more dynamite. Where is that at again? Oh, you know what? I think it's landscaping. Okay, dynamite. I'm going to do a whole other section of that here. We can get a too deep uh, thing. Uh-oh, this beaver's getting thirsty, but they are almost done. They've got just a couple more. Maybe I just need to... Oh, no, maybe they'll get rid of it. I don't know. There's not any wood in it, so maybe not. Maybe I just demolish it. This one? Let's do that instead. And then... Oh, and I need to do this one. And this one. And that should be it. So then they'll get rid of those. And then I can... I'm going to pause this because we don't have anything for that beaver to do right now. And then I'm going to start putting down some of the dam pieces. So let's see. It's been a little bit since I've used this stuff. Box water, but allows some to pass through. No, I want the levee then. Box water completely. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be doing some of this. For the start, I would like to... Uh, have a way for them to climb up. So let's make sure that we can put stairs. Um, and then I want to do stairs. Okay, so this. And then rotate this and go. Oh, I can't do that. Darn it. Okay, delete this. And I got to delete this too. Okay, let's try this again. So if I turn this like that, yeah, okay, that'll work. Then I need to put a path this way up to this point, put one up here so they can get all the way up here. Then I can have them chop down the trees up here and then we'll start putting down some dynamite up here. So let's select the trees to chop up here. So that once we have the stairs built up there, we can work on that. How are we doing here on this? I feel like, oh no, these beavers don't have anything to do because we have too much built up. Why are they not taking it? Import always. How do I force them to always export? Okay, yeah, I don't want to import it, but I'd like to export it. 
So why aren't they doing that? Import none. Import all. Import always. I don't understand why they're not moving that. Oh no, we're... We are running out of water. Uh, and this one is not in the right spot for these beavers to use it. What is this? Oh, that's another one. I'm gonna, um, have them work on this so that we can have another beaver in the water pump. We have, like, no water here, which is a problem. And we have enough water in here now that we could pump more. So I just need to make sure that there's beavers in there at all times doing that. How much water do we have down here? 36. Oh my goodness. Is it all getting export? No, and they don't have any water either. Oh no. Are we going to lose because we don't have enough water? Let's pause the grilled spatter dock beaver and hopefully he can go into here once it's done. I'm going to high prioritize this. Uh, I can build this now. What is this? I need this to be demolished. And then I can put another pump here. Like so. And then I can put down a path. Like this. And then this needs to be built. I'm going to high prioritize that. We need beavers getting water. Ooh, hopefully nobody dies of starvation. We are like barely keeping up with the amount of water. But the all these beavers are thirsty. So it's a problem. Okay, somebody went in there. They're pumping water. These beavers don't have any water though because there's not enough down around to give to them. They are always getting importing water. Hopefully we'll be able to get some back up to them. Okay, these beavers are starting to get water. 27. You got any water over here? Two. Okay, they're starting to, to transport it, so that's good. Oh, and they're making more paper, which is nice. I might switch this to paper storage just so that we can start saving up paper. Don't really need that many explosives and they're starting to put the uh stuff down here for all of that i wonder if they can reach this it is diagonal so i think they can but we'll see unconnected building oh well yeah we're i'm waiting for this beaver okay there we go do that and then somebody should go in there perfect so we can get a lot more water down here we're filling this up okay i think we're safe now it seems that everybody has gotten water nowadays so we should be okay there um, we got 30 paper i'm gonna go ahead and let them build this windmill because we have enough paper we've got the gears and we've got the planks so that should not be an issue we'll get more power as we go now that it's nighttime the only thing that's running is the carousel so they are making more than enough power for that so these should be gaining some power which is good how are you out of water again already? Oh my goodness. Because we're exporting it? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to switch this back to just not no prioritized resource. They can get whatever. And we'll see. Hopefully they get a mixture of everything. We are doing a little bit better on food. Spatter dock is pretty low because we had the drought. Um, but we're getting some potatoes. And we should be able to get some carrots and sunflower seeds. Now that we're getting that, and those are just eat as you go. You don't have to cook them. So pulling those in will give them more sources of food. Oh man, these beavers aren't doing anything. How do I get, I need, I want to force them to move it. How do I do that? Export all goods without restrictions. So maybe I need to do, do not, maybe I do this for clink clack. I don't want them to export any. Maybe it'll force the... We'll see. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm hoping that they start moving stuff around. What are my haulers doing? Moving water. And I guess that's more important, but... I would really like to get this done. Okay, can I, like, empty this out? If I can get them to empty it and take it over there, then maybe I can use that to my advantage. I don't have any space in either of these, so we'll see if they actually empty this out. We have actually have four unemployed beavers now, so I can open this up. Well, I guess that doesn't really work. Um, but we have enough beavers to like start working in all the different things again, which is nice. I'm going to open this up just because we have some unemployed beavers. So once we get the wood, they'll be able to start going in there and getting all of this, all the resources that are here. We only really need the one beaver here, so that's okay. 
I don't have any spatter dock to grill, so I'm just going to leave this paused for the moment. Hopefully these beavers will start doing stuff. Is this getting emptied? Wish I could like force them to do stuff. As I don't think it's working. I don't know how I feel about this new district crossing thing. It's good and bad because I can't choose exactly what I want them to take. I'm just going to switch this back. Oh, wait, can I prioritize by haulers? Maybe the haulers will now move that stuff. Let me see what they're doing. I think I've got so many beavers now, my computer's having a hard time running this game now. Carrots. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything I can do to fix this. Ugh, I'm just going to put this back down. I don't know. I just want you guys to move this stuff. I... I don't know. I guess if you guys know anything about the district crossings and you can guide me on how to get them to move the scrap metal a little bit better, that'd be great because I'm struggling. I wonder if I need to look up in the the new update notes if it'll tell me how to make it move stuff better. It's really annoying that I can't just select certain things for them to move. I mean, obviously I want them to move the water and food around, but other than that, I would like them to focus on just doing the scrap metal. So I don't know, it's just frustrating to me they're all just sitting there because they don't have anywhere to store it and I need them to store it. I don't know if you guys have any ideas, please let me know um, so that I can try to use that to fix this because it's very frustrating. Oh good, they got the other windmill done. Now we've got even more power. Yes, we are not struggling for power anymore. We've got more supply than demand. Hopefully these are going up. They are. We've got extra paper. Oh, look at that. We're getting so much paper. How are we doing over here on food? Got a decent amount of food in the Clint Clack district. Are we doing better on water down here? We are. Okay, perfect. So I've, I'm feeling better now. We've got more food coming in. We've got more storage for food, more water. I'm really just frustrated with the export import situation, but hopefully that'll get resolved soon. But thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this one, I'm going to pop a couple more videos up here that you might also enjoy. Please leave me a comment below. I love hearing from all of you, so I will definitely read your comments if you leave them. But that's going to be it for today. I'll see you next time.